We are here on a holiday with family and friends. Well, my family is very clearly on a holiday. I am not because I am in charge of cooking under the sun. Music, barbecue, well, that's our style of a holiday. Today's recipe is for you. Quick, simple and easy, mutton shasli. Let's begin. By the way, welcome to Get Curried. Mutton shaslik for the uninitiated is possibly one of the simplest meat grill recipes. I'm going to use goat meat for this, especially the leg of the lamb or the ran as we call it. And it's important to marinate this to begin with using raw papaya. Now raw papaya as a marinade also works as a tenderizer, which is very, very, very important for this recipe. First things first, I'm going to add in paste of raw papaya with its skin on. The skin of raw papaya is extremely important because it contains an enzyme called papain, which works as a tenderizer. Very important. Now grills and barbecues generally are slightly lesser on salt because you also add in lemon juice and most of the marinade also kind of evaporates. Remember this. Juice of half a lemon. Ensure that you remove all the seeds off. No surprises in your mouth. We mix this well. Let's keep this aside and begin with the marination. In this case, I'm going to make a marinade using curd. I'm going to use mustard oil in this recipe. Well, mustard oil in this case is extremely important because it adds a earthy smoky aroma in this recipe without going onto the grill. Imagine what happens to this flavor when it hits the charcoal. To this, let's add in paste of ginger and garlic. Next is to add in spices, of course. Beginning with turmeric powder. Moving on to red chili powder. And finally, last but not the least, garam masala powder. Let's mix all of this well. Well, if you realize in the marination, I've not added salt because the goat meat has salt. Let's transfer all of this into the marination. Once all of this is mixed well, we're going to keep this aside and let it marinate for some 15-20 minutes. And in the interim, we of course need to light the charcoal and cut some vegetables because shaslik has a combination not only of meat, but also of onions, tomatoes and capsicum. Let's do that. It is important to cut these vegetables in the size that you have the meat in. And that's again very important because when you skewer it, it all has to look even. It should not look like a big chunk of vegetable and a tiny bit of meat. Remember that. Now capsicum, of course, without the contours. And that's also very important. And seedless. Remember this. I know all this need not be told, but that's my job. The next thing is to cut tomatoes. Similarly, seedless and without the contours. And similarly, I have also cut onions, red onions into petals like these. And I'm keeping sets of two, three so that they're slightly chunkier, like so. Our vegetables are cut and ready. The meat is also marinated and ready. The next step is to lace this on a skewer or thread this on a skewer. Let's do that. Well, similarly, let's make some more. With this, our skewers are done and ready. Mutton shaslik is ready to go on the grill. What's important, and I'm sure you've noticed that by now, it's important to pack the meat at either ends with a vegetable. In this case, I'm using onions because the meat shaslik becomes nice and compact and the chances of the meat falling off are zero. Let's start grilling. Well, I'm using cocoa peat charcoal. You're free to use anything, even chips of wood would work perfectly well. Let's begin.
Once the meat starts cooking, you'll realize that the color starts changing and it also starts shrinking in size. That is when it's very important to start applying some fat or oil. This way, the meat stays succulent, juicy, and it also starts getting crisp on the outside, starts getting that beautiful brown color. What's also important to note here while making barbecue especially is that the flame should not be scorching, it should not be flaming and burning, it should just be settled. And that's very important, only when you add in oil or the marinade, it should kind of light up. And that's where you get those torch and those burn marks, but otherwise, what will happen is that the meat will get overcooked on the outside and will stay raw within. But because we have papaya, we cook it for like 12 to 15 minutes on medium hot charcoal and trust me, you get the most amazing meat shaslik or mutton shaslik. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, mutton shaslik is done and ready. Let's plate this. With this, mutton shaslik is done and ready. Serve this with a nice bowl of salad and some mayonnaise or some dip and ensure you have fun this holiday season. Well, I'm gonna get you some more recipes so that you get excited to leave work and go on a holiday right now and get your barbecues in action. This is me, the Bombay Chef Varnan Amdar, signing off. Bye for now.